Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For our video today, we are going to talk about the copy monitor tool in Revit. But before we start, if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. The copy monitor tool in Revit is used when you are linking another model into the current model you are working on. You can copy elements from a linked model to the current model and monitor the elements for changes. The first thing we will do is link a model. On the insert tab, we will click link Revit and we will select the Revit file that we will link into our current model. On Collaborate tab, click the Copy Monitor icon. Then choose the Select Link icon. Then select the link on the view. There's a set of icons that appear after selecting the link. Let's click Options, and the Copy Monitor Options dialog box will appear. On this dialog box, there are five tabs which are the levels, grids, columns, walls, and floors. These are the elements that we are able to copy from the link model. Let's try to use the copy tool, and we are going to copy the levels. Select the levels of the link model one by one. Then click Finish. We are going to check the copied levels. Select Visibility Graphics or type VV. Then go to the Revit Links tab. Then uncheck the link model. Click OK. Now we have the levels copied from the link model. If we select the level, this symbol will appear which means it is monitoring the link model. Whatever changes made on the link model will notify us with a warning the next time we open the file. There is also an option to stop monitoring by selecting this icon on the ribbon. Let's turn back on the Revit link. Now that we have levels in this current model, we will create plan views.
Then let's go to level 1. We go to collaborate tab again. Then click copy monitor. And click select link, then select the link model. Select the copy icon, and click the grid lines one by one. After that, click finish. Let's turn off again the link model. Now we have the grids also copied into the current model. Copy monitor is useful when working with Revit links. This is to ensure that the levels or grids are always in sync within the two or more Revit files. Like what we have shown earlier, the copy monitor tool can also copy elements like walls, floors, and columns. This is a very helpful tool when there are a number of users working on a project with a number of Revit model link into each other. Alright, that's it for now. We hope that this tutorial has helped you guys to learn something new in Revit architecture. Please comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of a tutorial that we should do. See you again in our next video. Thank you for watching.